Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, bye, bye. Orale, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there, shh, stop hating on us, right? Now, who am I talking about? I was going to get right down to the nitty gritty fucking homes. La primera. We're going to get straight to it in the menudo style in a direct fashion. I'm going to tell you exactly who was hating on us. Ourselves. Our own people are hating on us. Now, I was scrolling in YouTube because I, I, I pay attention. I pay attention to what's going on around us, man. And I don't like to call people out and say people's names. So I'm not here to do that. But what I am here to say is um, I came across a channel and... And, I, and, and this has no bearing on that channel. The channel's feed me, so I skip. Bing, bing, boop, boop, boop. It's all good. Hey, more power to you. And the beat goes on. Um, but what I seen was a Vato that was on this particular channel. And uh, he was talking about, and I'm not talking about our traditional prison channels, Charlie. I'm talking about some way outlandish channel that just happened to come across this guy and interview him or, or put a video out on him. Um, and he's talking about the big you situation. And he was talking about the Raza, um, of course, and getting knocked out by Big U. There was no 32 that got dropped. None of that. You know, maybe over a period of 32 years he did that. But 32 uh, 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 minutes, Chale, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, nope, it never happened. Okay, now that's everybody has their opinion. There's going to be Valtos that say it could be done. And then there's going to be Valtos that say, Chale, homes, you, got, you must have fucking bumped your head. Homes. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever the case may be, it is what it is. I'm here to tell you that's neither here nor there. I already voiced my opinion on that situation. I already spoke on it. I already told you guys how I felt. I said, on paru, that shit wasn't going to be done. Mm -mm. That's just what I said, right? Now, trip out. I came across this video, and, and this vato is of rasa descent, man. And he was saying, you know, that that all rasa are sure, and all rasa, um, if, if vatos didn't come together and formulate groups, you know, form groups uh, back in the days, you know what I mean? Like the Sureños, the Norteños, the NF or the M, that uh, most Mexicanos in prison would probably be raped or oppressed by other groups and things of that nature. So that's okay. I'm here to tell you, I don't know where the fuck that came from, right? Straight up uh, in a menudo style, I don't see the gente as soft. Okay, I don't see the gente with Charmin written all over their face. Um... Just because you're not part of a certain clique or organization doesn't make, make you weak, right? Traditionally, we come from warrior blood, right? As all groups do. You know, them white boys that come from the Vikings, eh? Sasuke, the Vikings, they, they were horrible, huh? Them autos will fuck around and tear your whole house up, right? Um, they'll tear your motherfucking shit limb by limb. All right, the Asians, Mongolian ancestral blood, fucking just different. Just they're different, right? Sasuke, you already know what it was. Genghis Khan was ganging up on people and conning them into whatever he wanted and taking whatever he needed. And in that fashion, right? And of course, we come from Azteca blood, Mayan blood, Inca, several other different indigenous people, warriors, homes. We are come from warriors, right? The Africanos are derived from the Zulu nation for the most part, man. And Savaska, they'll let you have it. They're not playing, right? So we all got this uh, uh, traditional warrior blood from our history, so ain't nobody slouches, homes. Ain't nobody put my bed little water down. You know what I mean? Over the generations. And I'm talking about everybody. But there's nobody that's just going to let anybody walk all over them and take the cheeks, right? I don't. I, I mean, I've never seen it done. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a part of a gang. So I don't think that this Vato uh, was righteous in saying that these are why the gangs were formulated. Yeah, they were. They were came together, um, you know, to fight oppression, to protect the gente. Absolutely. So it's getting indubitably. I agree. Um, every group was built out of oppression. Every group was brought together, man, to stand, you know, to have backups. That's good. So that we had power, like La Onda. We needed power. We needed backup. But at the same time, that didn't mean if you didn't take into those groups, you were a sucker fish. You were some type of punk or you were some type of character. And your cheeks were just going to get <laughs> clapped. Charlie Holmes, by no means. Also, another stigma that this individual said in, in his uh, video and I'm not going to say his name, man. It, it's neither here nor there. You know, I don't disrespect about them because I don't dislike them. I'm just voicing my opinion on the situation. Um, that all Mexicans are short. So I was going to trip out. I'm tall with a big old pipa. I don't know where that came from, right? Um, all Mexicans are not short. Huh? Now, there's a lot of short Mexicans. There's a lot of short Africanos. 
There's a lot of short uh, Asians. There's a lot of short Gava. Everybody got short people. Everybody's got tall people. Everybody's got, got fat people. So okay, everyone's got a torta or two. Okay, we, we got a lot of tortas. Everybody's got everything. So you can't just single one particular group out and be like, hey, we're all short. We'll get our cheeks clapped. Like, what the fuck, bro? Look in the mirror, homes. Open your eyes. Let's say, orderly pie face. Trip out on this before you get hit three times for your mind. Me, vida loca. Bro, spend on la tira. Do you understand the words that are coming out of your mouth? Basically, the Vato said, oh, man, if we didn't stoop together, uh, we we're going to get our shit clapped and, and we're short anyway, so it was easy for to get my more. Hell nah, bro. As a Mexicano, as a Chicano, as man, being derived from fucking whatever blood I'm derived from, Azteca or fucking Manteca or whatever the fucking, whatever it is. I'll tell you right now, straight up, ain't no way, homes, the Latin people are going to go out like that. That's just plain and simple. We're going to fight tooth and nail to the end, friend. Order it like Chucky. We're going to fight to the end because that's just the character and the buildup of the people, the nature of that beast, right? Straight up, raza way. Raza carries himself with pride, proud to be our people. That's just me. Now, this is not to hate on anybody else, period, man. I think every person is a beautiful, has a beautiful tradition, has a beautiful culture. Everybody. You know, I studied a lot of historia and a lot of cultura when I was incarcerated because that's good. One, I was told to. Two, that's good. I, I enjoyed it after time, right? And three, because I'm inquisitive. I want to know what's going on with the next people. So, okay, I'm not just trying to book a vault without knowing his history. I want to know when to stick it in them, homes. Why I'm doing it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm scared. oh, you're a Viking? Come here, Jody. Jody, right? Straight up. I wanted to know. The reasoning behind everything. You know, hey, call it fucking what you want, man. Um, but I was metiche. I wanted to know exactly who was what and what was who. You know what I mean? If a who was a what. So I don't know. Nowadays, you could be anything you want to be. Just ask Bruce Jenner. Anyways, now look. I just came across this video and I felt I should address it. You know, there's a lot of autos from in the sur and the north, man, that have common beliefs. There's a lot of autos that have differences. There's a lot of fucking raza that just don't, they think gangs are frivolous. There's a lot of authors that think gangs uh, stand for something and that there's a point to them. I'm all of the above, you know. I think the sur have a smooth fucking ways about them. So I think the north is, dun, 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 dun. I think they got a smooth criminal to them too. And I also think the brown priders, the hinted that just stand back and, and don't see it as fucking righteous, have fucking some type of common sense as well. Okay, you, like I said, you don't have to be a gang member. So when I came across that video and I read it and I seen that, I didn't read shit. So I could barely read, right? So I was like, who said we could read? We can, right? But anyways, I, I was watching this video, listening, and uh, just the way the individual was talking, I felt like he was trying to cater to a certain people. Now, he's in the rap game, you know, so, so he's not trying to alienate anyone. And, and I understand the bag is a beautiful thing. He's trying to get to that bag. So when you're trying to get to the bag, so okay, you don't want to alienate alienate no one so when you voice your opinion you have to toe that line borderline just like you're going to orale madonna you have to hit that borderline because if you say a little too much or a little too little bottles are going to feel some type of way i feel some type of way spence you cry your toe your fucking just that little toenail on the pinky went over the borderline i was like what i'm short you know i'm just like i don't know what you're bummed you're about to i got a pipa that's taller than most people listen um you never have to shit on your own hand there or conform to what other people want you to. The reality is we're all people, man. We're all like-minded. We all got good qualities and we all got bad qualities. When I wake up in the morning, so I'm scared and my people's not as big as it usually is. So I'm, I'm like, That's a bad quality, right? Later on, it starts warming up. So I'm scared. I get a little Sprite in me. I don't feel like LeBron and my shit grows. And the winner is, right? I know everyone has their own different ways to characterize it, but that's just how I do it, you know? Now I'm saying this, I say that to say this, when I came across that video, I felt some type of way, you know, um, so I felt like addressing it. It was also brought to my attention by an OG from Canton, man, who got at me and said, did you see this bullshit? So I was like, what the fuck is that? I said, hey, trip out. I was, Let me tap out real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make something on this just based on I feel your vibe, brother. And I hope you feel mine when I say you're righteous in what you're saying. We're not all cowards, punks, pussies, levels. None of that, bro. We're a proud gente that believe in our culture, that believe in our people. No, no matter if you're from the north, down south, pull that motherfucker with you. 
You know, I know this, bro. If I'm in a dark alley side of skin, some fucking big old fucking walk to come to jump on me in a south side of side of skin, I'm going to tell them this is what we're going to do. Here's the plan. You ready? So look, you're going to go that way, post, you know what I mean? Come behind them, grab them in the chokehold. I'm going to go this way, I'm going to hit the alley-oop, and I'm going to book them. And so let's get after that, then me and you could talk about what we're going to do, right? This is how it should be. People need to stick together. I've been in plenty of situations where the Rasa stood tall through it all strong to make shit happen. Now, trip out. Um, I was on the yard on Fred Sinellis, and uh, I've told the story before. I'm, I'm going to reiterate it just a little bit, just because the wind's blowing, right? In a menudo style. Um, directly fashioned. Um, trip out, so fucking the Africanos started getting deep, man. And as Norteños, we were cool with the Cripas. The CXIV car was there. Everybody knew what time it was, man. Um, did we back each other's play on every little tiny thing? Charlie, man. But if something was to crack off, man, we're involved a common enemy. Oh, best believe. Oh, <laughs> Paro. The gun was going to be involved. You know what I mean? I had the tapes. So, trip. so we were going to do that. Um, but at the same time, uh, the Africano brothers started getting a little deeper, man. They started getting a little boisterous, not only with the Southsiders, but also with us a little bit. So we're feeling some type of way. So we actually came together as a gente to throw a junta. Yes, north and south. See? And the hostilities was cracking way before you thought of it, right? Um, and we came to the to the realization, man, that we felt like we were getting played out of pocket. We felt like we were being disrespected, like our brown skin was not looked at as, as the same of, as everyone else. Like we didn't... We didn't have that social status of equality. We were being treated much different. And said, okay, we were feeling some type of way, right? So we were going to come together for power because La Onda don't shine shoes. We were going to conform to being ridicule, ridiculed, uh, 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 people chitting all over us and people talking over us and treating us any other way because we're a proud gente, man. And we realized that day, yes, that day, just that day only, you know what I mean? We're going to give you a, a, a window, a close window, that north and south, was actually not the words we were looking for, but brown and pride was. Let that sink in. I'm giving you knowledge you can't get in college, you know? Um, of course, it never amounted to shit. We never did nothing. Um, we got out a good, a bunch of good, righteous Africano brothers, man, who also felt the same way. They felt like these youngsters that were coming in were getting too loud and getting too temperamental and getting too disrespectful. And so they checked them. They checked them like a motherfucking game of checkers. King me, bitch, right? And they did their thing. And everything was good in the hood, man. And then everybody went their own separate ways. So I was scared that, that invisible line was, was crossed and everybody was good. And then we went back on our own linea. Like, uh -huh. we, we just did our own thing. But that showed... Uh, uh, that we could come together as a people because our blood that courses through our veins, man, as I hinted, it means more than anything else. Okay, so when I seen this video, man, and the Vata was saying that, there was a couple other derogatory things he said. I understood. I understood his reasoning. Did I agree? Fuck no, right? Do I agree now? Mm -mm, Charlie, Charlie Street, right? Spencer Boulevard, Charlie Street, but also a lane, right? I don't agree, but at the same time, um, I understood why he was doing it. He's under the assumption, I believe, that if he treats other people um, with a certain amount of respect, even more so than his own people and belittles his own people, that will make the, that'll get the heat off him in the game. That'll get the heat off his head. But that's not the way it works, homes. I'm going to tell you the people that are respected, the people that stand 10 fucking toes down with their toenails into the concrete. These are the people that are respected. These are what the forefathers fought for. This is what Corky Gonzalez fought for when he said Chicanismo. This is what Cesar Chavez did. I know how you feel, but this is what Cesar Chavez did when he did the Huelga strike march. This is what Dolores Huerta stands for all the time. This is what... Our people, our gente, the brown berets, man, the Chicanos, the Mexicanos, the Latinos, the Paises that work hard every day in the fields. You know what I mean? My white brothers, man, that are fucking contractors, having the Paises work for them. So I just can't, I gotta respect it. You know what I mean? Home Depot. Orale, and my Africano brothers, man, that are always getting it, man, hustling. You know what I mean? Striving fast with a purpose. All these people are the same, man. We all got a sense of pride and power. We're a very powerful people. It's not us against each other. At least it's not supposed to be. We do that by our own fucking means. It's supposed to be us against the man. The man, not the white man. So you got it fucked up, homes. The man, the invisible man. The man that controls all of us. But we're not going to even go there because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. Bang, bang. You already know what I'm saying in my noodle style. I'm just giving you guys game. Um, so anyways, when I seen this, I understood why he did it, why he said it. I just didn't understand why he said it. Read between the lines. Like, come on, bro. You know damn well... Gente ain't going out like that. There was no way back in the 70s, 60s, Vatos were just saying, I'm short here, just take my fucking cornhole. No, it, that's not the way it works, okay? In prison, 
Every man is judged by his own merits. Every man will be judged by the content of his character and what he brings to that yard. Meaning some big old fucking steel, right? Every man has a little bit of thug in him. You know what I mean? And if every man don't act right, you could have a whole lot of thug in him. You know what I mean? And that's ugly. That's a whole different story. But it's not just because a Mexican short that he gets fucked, right? That's not never going to happen. I see some short vaultas with major hands. Like, they were the ones doing the fucking. It was weird, right? Anyways, but you know what I'm saying. So I just wanted to address this as a hint that when you see things in social media, when you see people uh, putting out their truths or putting out their feelings, hey, to each their own, everybody is welcome on platforms to say whatever it is they say and feel however they feel. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's no rights and no wrongs, homes, but in this case, I see a whole lot of wrong in that right. You know, I'm not going to uh, knock a man for voicing his opinion. I'm not going to knock a man for uh, saying what he wanted to say, but at the same time, the spence on Latina, homes. Are, are you done fucking slandering your own gente? Are you done talking shit about your own people? Okay, okay we'll wait. Yeah. Okay, are you done? Look, I seen the video and I felt some type of, I felt bitter. I got the bitter beer face like that. I was just like, fuck this, man. I'm not cool with it. And that's why I wanted to, boy, I just seen this yesterday. So I had to voice it. And with that being said, like I said, I'm not going to talk about where the guy's from, his name, what he does, his occupations, I okay. Um, you know what I mean? If he likes fucking uh, uh, skydive, like I don't care about none of that and none of that matters. What matters is as a people, damn, my fucking roof almost fell off. As a people, you need to step your game up, right? Serio. And you need to realize, man, that you're proud. Be a, never be ashamed of what you are. Pl proud to be brown, stand tall and hard and black and white and Asian. Pero Amarillo, uh, nah, you know what I mean? The dog is belly up. We don't get down like that. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. This was just a little rant and rave about a raving rant, you know? And I had to do what I had to do to put it out there because the hint they asked me, like I said, a whole bunch from Compton got at me. And even before that, I was already thinking about touching on this situation because I was like, fuck this, you know? Study the philosophies of the people. Show love to the founding fathers who set forth right here in this land that we're in to accomplish his set goals and to make sure that we're able to have the liberties and the freedoms to have goals. Okay, always show love to your person that's behind you. If you see someone behind you, pull them up beside you. Don't lead them, homes. Rock side by side with them. That's the content of a real man. That's the content of a Chicano. That's the content of a Mexicano. Whether you say Latino, Hispanic, Chicano, Mexicano, Raza, it's all the fucking same thing. We're all brown, you know? Some of us are a little bit lighter than others, but don't let the light skin fool you. <laughs> we will fuck you up. Light skin brothers getting in motherfucking motion. You feel me? Just because the wind's blowing. As for all other gente, man, ain't no one stronger, ain't no one bigger, ain't no one better than anyone. We're all together in this fight, this struggle against the man. To what degree of man, we don't know, but you know somehow, somewhere, maybe he's a woman. I don't know, but it is what it is. Anyways, I hope that you go out there, gente, and you do your thug thizzle before the thug thizzles do you. You already know what it is. I'm going to continue to strive, man. If you like this message, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe. The reason I put myself going, shh, that means shut your walk on, homie. Stop talking about your own head. Look in the mirror and recognize that you're brown and proud. And stop being proud uh, uh, just to be brown, homes. You know what I mean? Be brown and proud. Brown first and foremost. Also, another note, the reason I have Norteños and Sureños, that's a symbolism of Everybody's the same, homes. Ain't no one different. So we might, we might wear different size pants and we might have different hairstyles. But at the end of the day, man, we're just a product of our environment. We're going to rock how we rock, man. We're going to rock out on our cocktail. Orale! Bang, bang. With that being said, gracias. Please hit that like and subscribe. If you don't like this, it's cool. You know, I understand. Some people won't. You get it that thumbs down, heavy as the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for my people every day and spit the realest, the illest, the dopest, the I don't know what rhymes with that. Anyways, you know what it is. The gun. Bang, bang. And in that fashion, menudo.